Hi everyone, Kirubiato here. Um, I'm sat at the back at the moment because there is um, someone mowing the lawn on the front. This video is about how to build your confidence. Um, and these are all the ways that I know how. Um, start with writing like all of your successes and you know, all of your strengths and all of the times that you tried at something or all of the hoops you jumped through, you know, all that stuff, write it all down, okay? And then get whatever certificates that you've got out and put them around you as well. <sighs> and there is another trick. Um, are you serious? <laughs> there is another trick. Um, look in the mirror and just just look in the mirror more often a little bit. Obviously don't talk to it because then that's not good. You're not meant to talk to mirrors, okay? Um, but look in the mirror. Even if like it makes you a bit uncomfortable, if you feel like a little bit displeasing to the eye, you need to get used to your face. And you need to get used to the rest of you as well. So try and, you know, face that and look, okay? And whatever you feel needs to be different, and I'm not talking about plastic surgery or anything, I'm talking about like, if you're a woman, if you feel like some eyeliner will make you feel better about yourself, do it. More distractions. Um, there's always distractions when I'm doing videos at the moment, it's very annoying. <laughs> but yeah you need to get to know you um i would also suggest having depending on how extroverted you are it might vary but i suggest having some time alone um i did it for a long time for nearly three years but i'm an introvert so i don't know if an extrovert would be able to handle that but you could try you could try a few months um like go everywhere by yourself um stay in by yourself you need to get to know you because that's why your confidence is lacking because you're so focused on everyone else and comparing yourself to others and you know watching things that have these filtered people on there and you know watching reality tv shows and stuff that show people that are, are like really fake they're not themselves okay and they've had plastic surgery and there is not one real thing about them okay and if the more you compare yourself to others the more insecure you're going to be you have to get in touch with you like completely get to know yourself um, find out what you like, what you dislike, what you don't tolerate, um, you know, everything else that I said, and bang your own drum, but don't brag. It's hard to explain because a lot of people confuse confidence with the ego, and it is very easy to mistake one for the other, and sometimes you can boost your ego instead of your confidence, so try and not do that um but what i know about ego is people that are in their ego they brag they don't just boost themselves up they brag they make out like they're better than everyone else to make big things bigger than they are are you joking <sighs> another plane thank you again <laughs> But yeah, ego is stuff like bragging and making things bigger than they are. And like, like obviously you can exaggerate on some things to make it funny, like with timing, like, oh my God, even if it's been like two minutes and you say it's been like, it's been like a decade, I do that. It's, it's funny. If you're adding comedy, then I'd say that's fine. But if you're doing it to boost yourself, like boost your ego up, 
and make yourself bigger and better than everyone else, then no, that isn't fine. That's your ego, not confidence. Confidence, you know that you're not better than any anyone else. You just, you know, you're closer to your higher self than you were before. Or you're not bad. Do you know what I mean? Like... <sighs> Confidence is also being able to show who you are without fear. That's confidence. But ego is more if you show who you are and then brag about it and then boost it up, making you bigger than who you are and better than everyone else. Again, that's ego. Like, um, if you ramble about yourself for no apparent reason and put yourself in other people's conversations for no apparent reason even when what you're talking about isn't to do with what is being said that's ego as well i used to do that um and i know someone that does it all of the time at the moment again three three planes and it's not even been seven minutes <laughs> <laughs> okay right um so it's hard to it's, it's hard to distinct distinguish between the two but ego is very cocky right and ego is very arrogant and boastful and not in the slightest humble confidence is the opposite like ego as well will always be trying to um, argue and how do I put it because you're going to have arguments even if you're not in ego but it, it's different when it's ego okay it's um, how do I put it it's a hard one to describe It is really hard to describe. I'm not going to lie. Com uh, ego doesn't like to be wrong, okay? And a lot of people have this much ego. I even have that. I don't like to be wrong, but I will admit when I am wrong. Ego does not admit when they are wrong. Ego will make out that they know everything. And like you know better than everyone else they have a god complex and they're very you know all about themselves that is ego um always putting yourself above everyone else is ego and another plane number four are you serious thank you come again <laughs> This is this has got to be the most planes I've seen go over in one video. Oh my god. But yeah, you need confidence, not ego. And anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and to Lumofos.